Hey, Feasters, and welcome to episode 233. Want to diversify your income and create sustainability in your service-based business? Productizing your service could be the answer. I'm going to tell you how to do that in today's episode. Welcome to the Ask Res podcast. I'm Jason, and I'm here to help you get past those bumps in the road, those struggles, those things that hold you back from building an amazing and profitable freelance business each and every single day. I don't know about you, but I'm constantly bombarded with ideas on making this and creating that. And that's just from my own brain, not from everyone else telling me to do so. And I simply do this because I know that a product will help me diversify my revenue and make my business more stable. I'm not wrong. And I don't say that because I'm arrogant. I say it because it's simple fact. Not everyone wants to create a product though. I don't. I'm not looking to build software. I'm not looking to create some physical thing to sell. What I enjoy though is creating a solution, building services, publishing content that help others solve a problem. To me, what I want is a productized service. So that's where I started exploring this option for my business so many years ago. Creating a productized service is essentially creating a menu for potential clients to order off of. It doesn't have to be something that's complex and automated and has a team behind it, but it needs to be profitable. That's the key element here. Another key element is that it needs to be a quick win. So when you start thinking that you want to diversify your revenue or build a more sustainable business, what you have to do is think about a couple of things. One, what does everyone hire you for? Simply start with what people hire you for in the very first place. If you're a designer, what's the one thing that you do for each and every single client? Same goes for developers and marketers too. Do you perform audits? Do you do brand identities? Do you set up coding environments. The second thing you want to think about is what do repeat customers hire you for? This is what I call chronic pain points. Are your clients seasonal and they always come back to you for something at the same time every single year? Do you have to design social media assets for new content? Are you building iterations of software for new features? After you work through these things, look back at these two lists. Pick out ones that have a similar theme. You want these things to be small enough to achieve quick wins for your client. They also need to be delivered quickly and profitably as well. Since they are small and you may be doing a number of them, also make sure that you enjoy doing them. And here's something else that you can think about. How in the past have you helped brand new clients get over nervousness and apprehension? This is key because ultimately the goal of a productized service is to make it simple and easy to work with you. By reducing the number of choices a lead has and creating an easy option, you are making the decision for them. For example, building a website or designing a brand that has an investment of $20,000 and three months of time is scary for some businesses who have never been down that road before. However, delivering a brand style guide that may take you a few weeks to develop and let's say five grand, that's easier for them to digest. Then once they see that deliverable and how the relationship was successful with this initial engagement, the client is now more comfortable with you to move forward with the much larger project. Sometimes people are calling this a roadmap, but for me, it's a productized service because it's something, it's a service that you are providing to a client that's a product. Look, productizing a service is not easy, but if you think of it like creating a menu for your business so that leads can order from, it'll create the diversity that you're looking for. A little bonus tip here is is you don't even need to tell anyone that you do this either. Keep it simple. Don't put it on your website and have this alongside all your other services. 
use it as a tool in your sales conversations. If you start to get a sense that budget and or time is an issue for the lead, then offer your productized service to them. The flip side here is if they seem like someone you may not want to work with, but like what their business is about, maybe even their tech, then offer them your productized service. Use it as a tool to try them out, just as they would use it to try you out. If you have a question, ask Rez. That's me. Find me on Twitter, at Rez, or head on over to my website, Rez.com, and I have, oh, I don't know, what is this, episode 233? 232 other questions that I've answered. Till next time, it's your time to live in the feast.